Hello guys and welcome back to another GTA 5 modding tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you on how to install CoreFX for GTA 5. So if this video does help you out I'd really appreciate if you could like and subscribe. Anyway let's get right into the video. So the first thing uh, we're going to need to do is go to our browser. Uh, link in the description uh, to CoreFX. It'll take you a Patreon page. Um, to where you can download CoreFX from. A uh, big shout out to the creator CoreFX, uh, this amazing graphic mod. But when you get to this page, scroll down until you see the latest version, which right now it is v0.21. So go to the latest version and scroll down until you can see download CoreFX, and then you'll see a Mega Link and a Google Drive link. This is up to you, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go with the google drive link so if you do want to follow this tutorial as i'm doing uh, go ahead and click the google drive link so once you've clicked that it'll take you to a google drive page now here we're going to need a uh, single player because uh, we're installing this for single player so just click on the single player one and double click on it it'll take you here then next you'll see a download button so click on the blue download button and then it'll say unable to scan file for viruses just click download anyway and then click save and save it somewhere uh, so once it downloads we're gonna i'm just gonna put that in here real quick so just save it somewhere and you can close your browser now uh, so once you've saved it somewhere uh, just click on it and extract it so i'm going to use winrar for this and then once you've extracted it somewhere, um, next we're going to need OpenIV. So go ahead and open up OpenIV here. Uh, I've also done a tutorial on how to install OpenIV. So if you don't have OpenIV, I have a tutorial and I'll link it in the description. Uh, so once you've got OpenIV installed, uh, open OpenIV. And then uh, once you've also installed CoreFX, uh, you should see a folder called CoreFX, uh, the version and single player. Just next, open this file here, and then there'll be another file called CoreFX underscore single player. Open that as well. And then there'll be three more files and three HTML documents. Uh, the first file we're going to go ahead and open is CoreFX. So next, just click on this. And then you'll get two open I o I sorry, OIV files in here. Um, so you'll see a CoreFX install and a CoreFX uninstall. We're going to be installing it, so what we're going to do is we're going to press on the CoreFX install and then we're going to drag it into our OpenIV. But before we do do that, in our OpenIV, we need to enable edit mode, which is just at the top here. So click on it and click yes. Uh, and then if you already haven't uh, installed ASI Manager, uh, you need to do it now. So click on the ASI Manager. And then you'll have three. You'll have ASI Loader, OpenIV.ASI, and Open Camera. Just install these if you already haven't. And uh, also make sure you have a mods folder. So if you don't have one, it'll say Create Mods Folder. Just click Yes, and just install Open Camera and all three of these. Once all once all three of these are installed, you can click Close. And now we can go back to our CoreFX, and we want to click on the CoreFX install and just drag it into our OpenIV just like this and let go and then it'll come up with like a little window here so now we need to click the install button and we need to click mods folder okay never select game folder always the mods folder and then once you've clicked mod folder you need to click install confirm installation and then it's going to go ahead and install this can take a while depending on your PC but it shouldn't take too long Okay, so once it's done, we can click close, and then we can go ahead and close out of our WinRAR. And now, basically, we have done with install CoreFX, but there is one more thing that we're going to also install with CoreFX, which is CoreENB, which makes the game look even better. Uh, you don't have to install this, but I recommend it because it makes the game look even better. So what we're going to do is we're going to find our main game directory. So mine is here for steam i've also done a tutorial on how to get to your main game directory so if you don't already know how to do that i'll link that in the description as well but once we get to our main game directory 
we're going to go back to the car effects and we're going to go up in the file called car enb okay once you're in there you'll see two files and a few other files in here what we're going to do is we're going to select every single file in the car enb and we're going to deselect the car effects file um, and the car enb underscore license okay once you've got everything else selected we're going to go ahead and drag all of these into our main game directory just like this and just drag it to the side and then it might say replace a file in destination if it does just click replace a file in the destination and once that's done we've now installed car uh, car enb as well so there's also some optionals so you can uh, install optionals if you want but for the tutorial i'm not going to be installing any optionals but to install them it's pretty simple you just use open iv and just drag them in uh, but that's about it once you've done that if you followed the steps correctly your game should be working fine and we should have car effects installed so i'll see you in the game okay guys so once you get into the game as you can see uh, the mods obviously installed because the graphics are a hundred times better uh, This mod is absolutely amazing. The graphics are amazing, especially for a free graphic mod But yeah, it should have uh, been all installed correctly if you followed uh, the tutorial But yeah, this is gonna be the end of the tutorial. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video um, And I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe I'm going to start uploading more, uh, so if you have any tutorials that you want me to do, please do let me know in the comments, and I'll try to get them out for you, so I can help you all out. But anyway, see you guys in the next video, and thank you for watching, and peace.